Okay, everyone, this is uh, continuing with the um, Timu Train series. This is unbox card number three. I'm Kelly Renee. You're on Sharing Our Shine. Yeah, I'm still sick. So, what we're going to do is just continue on. Uh, feel free to look at uh, unbox card number one and unbox card number two videos. This is number three. And we're just going to... Okay. That's a piece of jewelry I brought for a friend. It's a little ring that I bought for a friend. So I'm going to go ahead and put that aside so it doesn't get lost. All right. I'm going to move that over here. And we're going to start with uh, painting number one and see what we've got here. Oh. Okay. Uh, what size is this one? Does it... This is a 40 by 40. This is 24 colors, alphanumeric, uh, 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 7 is 7, 8 is letter A, all the way down to letter T, 40 by 40. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, your usual green boat. Um, yeah. How many colors? 24. 24 colors. Yeah, this is going to go in my A2 organizer. I just thought this was just an excellent rendering of a horse painting. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Uh, let's take a look. I, I, you know, I love my train game. Um, I just hate it when the trains and the, the drill packs are this long. I always have to um, reduce them in size. Let's see here. Mostly neutrals. Am I getting my... Yeah, let me see if we can get some more light in here. Yeah, mostly neutrals. Not too exciting on the uh, color pack here. Do love this blue, some reds. That looks like a kind of a gray lavender there. Yeah, mostly uh, oh there's the blues and the different colors here. Let's see how readable this is. Well, it's readable and quite small. I just love the shading and the coloring on that horse. I really do. This is total keeper for me. I just love all the colors. In the background, the shading of the horse, the browns, the light and dark, the highlights. Beautiful, beautiful rendering to me. So that's a keeper, yeah. Okay, again, 24 colors. Not too much to write home about on that, but there you are. All right, I'm going to see if I can get a little less glare on here. Let's see if we can move this up just a little bit. Maybe it won't be so striking for you to see. Nice. Really nice. Keeper. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and get out canvas number two. Okay. This is number two. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I know it's a 30 by 40. Uh, I'll be glad when this spring bug is over with. It's been a week, over a week. Oh, let's see. 30 by 40. 22 colors. It is... It looks like it's all alpha. No particular order. Another colorful lady that I am very, very much liking. I love that. 
I love the color. I love her profile. I love her features. I'm just hoping I love the colors they chose. Just a regular... The colors they chose for her skin color. Hopefully not looking at a lot of red. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Let me go ahead and... Uh, flatten this out. Oh, yeah. Uh, she has nice shading on her f on her face, highlighting the colorful florals surrounding her. I love the colors that they chose for the florals. A lot of yellows and oranges, blues. That would interact with her skin color quite well. And I'm going to pause the video just a moment so I can relocate that light. Okay, I think that's going to be a little bit better. I can't see through the camera with that light shining on it the way it is. How readable is this? Well, it's printed quite well. That dark E over that dark blue. Yeah, that's going to be hard to see without a light pad. But as you know, if you're familiar with my channel, I always use a light pad, so it's not a problem for me. I like the, the way they did the shading on her face. I'm just hoping that the color's chosen. You see how they have those highlights over her eyes here? And over her top lip? Enter her lip here? A little bit of highlights on her chin? This is very, very artistic. I, I don't know if this is AI. I, I don't know. There is the thumbnail. Hoping you can see that well. Oh, I, I'm really happy with this. Really happy. It does appear to be readable with a light pad. Nice glue. The glue extends over about a good quarter of an inch. That's a lot of glue, so we're going to have to washi tape that back. And let's see what colors we have here. Okay, I'm looking at the colors close up, and I'm seeing some promising skin tone colors. Some really nice color choices here. Yeah, I really like the colors. I don't see strong reds. I do see some oranges, so hopefully that isn't going to end up in a color. Let's see here. That is six. Let's just see what six is. Six is the letter T. Okay, I see the letter T being used out here. I'm going to see if there's any letter T. There's a T right there that's in the floral. The T's are over here. There's no T's in her face, so she has... So, J945. She has Z977. Okay, those nines are going to work. And what is V? Trying to see. V is 758. Yeah, the, the color choices are going to be good. This is going to really turn out nice. If you've done this, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'm very, very happy with that. Really like the color choices that I'm seeing just from the uh, color palette. So, yeah, total keeper for me. Oh, I hope I bought two of these because I'd love to give one of these away. I'll have to check. And see if I can get another one for a giveaway. That's how much I like this. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and go for number whatever number we're on. Three, I think. Okay, let's move on to number three. Yeah, I don't think I have a duplicate on that. But I am going to try to get another one of those. Of the, um, of the uh, black lady with the florals. Yeah, I want to get another one of those. I'd love to give that away. Okay. Oh, I might have snipped that a little. No, I did. Did I? 
Oh, yeah, a little bit. Thankfully, it's on the edge there. 30 by 40. Oh, it's the fox. Okay. I'll show you that in just a second. Let me just kind of flatten this out. Nothing more than uh, basic with a little few, few baggies there. Are these baby bags? Oh, yeah. These are the, the sealed bags, but they're the baby bags. Yeah, tell Renee not happy. It, baby bags. So, we're showing you that up front. Looks like when I was cutting the um, thing open, I cut up that legend a little bit. But here's, here's the image. I'm sorry, my uh, alarm went off. Oh, I love that fox. Love, love, love. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape just so that this does not go bananas on me. So hang on just a second. Let me just... Hopefully that will stick long enough. Let me just get another piece here. I think my tape is running out. I'm going to have to replace my... Okay, I just didn't want that to... Okay, so that is the Fox. 30 by 40. I'm going to measure this one. I don't generally measure because we know it is what it is, but... Yeah, this one's supposed to be 30 by 40. Yeah, no way. This is like 24 and a half, probably closer to 24 because this is probably has overlap on glue, by 34, 24 by 34. Wow, was that really off on the size. I just hope that this, I'm okay with it as long as it reads. Okay, so, oh, a lot of dark. What is that? What is that V? V is 310, so we have a lot of black in the black, uh, in the black ground, in the background, with some strong colors up front, about a quarter of an inch overlap on the glue. Excellent, beyond excellent stick. I do see some creases. I'm trying to see if I have any rivers. Yeah, a little bit. Yep, right in here. Those are rivers. Those will have to be cut. That's the downside of um, double stick adhesive. Have to be ready to work with it. Upside is the stick is off the off the uh, charts, and I'm lifting up. Okay, I gotta separate the paper from the glue. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. So I'm going to have to work with those with that uh, anomaly there. I'm just going to press it down a little bit. And when I work on this, and this will be in my animal kingdom, so I will be working on this. I will have to pay some attention. Oh, that helped a little bit. That helped a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to really pay some attention to this. But it is very, very small, so I suspect this will go fast. I do have an inventory sheet with a bunch of baby bags. Oh, here's the, um, right here on the inventory sheet, it tells you 24 by 34. 30 by 40 canvas side, drill size 24 by 34. Well, at least they're honest there. And this is a square. This is a square, which means I really am, think I'm going to get, to get the detail. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. So sorry. <clears throat> but this is a square. Baby bags, double-sided adhesive, and squares. Wow, that takes a lot of boxes. But this is a total keeper for me. Let me know what you think, and let me show you the thumbnail again. I'm sorry I hit the, um, the tripod. 
but I think this size in a square, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. I'm willing to work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back in the envelope and go for number whatever's next. Okay, this is number four. And hopefully I can open this one without cutting it. Ugh. Okay. <coughs> Apologies, guys. Okay. Either I'm coughing or I'm hitting the tripod. I'm not having the best day. Oh. Okay. No train game. Oh. Me likey likey. The canvas size is 40 by 50. The drill size is 34 by 44. And look at the picture. If I did not get this image from Diamond Painting Bewitch Cat, if she didn't have this, I saw it and had to run and go get my own, then I was inspired to get it by her. Because she had a couple I really liked. But look at this face. I'm going to try to get that as close as possible. I'm hitting the tripod as I go, but I hope you guys are seeing that clear. Bag, look at the colors. I am like, and this is a square. Yay me. I've been living around life for a while. I can get back to squares. I can do squares, no problem. Okay, really like the colors. Really like these colors. Really love the image. I don't know how many colors yet. I'm too enthralled with looking at the pieces. We know this is a 34 by 44. Okay. This has that inversion printing. I, well, not totally. And I just lost the... Uh, oh, here it is. I dropped that. Not that I would have missed it, but I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, I hope she comes out. Because I really, really like it. Oh, doesn't tell me how many colors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 29 colors-ish. I could have looked on the bag, but I didn't want to take it out. Oh, yeah, there's number 29 right there. Doesn't mean it's the last one, but I counted 29. So 29 colors, 34 by 44. And the rendering, it's totally readable. But I'm just hoping, beyond hope, that this comes out well. This is part of my heritage on my whose side? On my mother's side. American Indian on my mother's side with some East Indian on my father's side. So, let's see here. So if I was doing, um, I ha had I started my um, Sharing Our Shine event circle, which I was hoping to start in the month of April, but that might be delayed till May. It might have to be. Um, this flu has set me back. I'm really behind on other things that I need to do. Personal life things. May have to push that back a while. So, I am hoping to start revealing React with a subscriber who has stepped up and said they want to do videos with me on revealing React since he's not available right now. And uh, so I hope to get that started this month. But what do you think? What do you think? Let me show you the thumbnail. I'm hoping this comes out. I really, really am ha happy with the overall image. I'm glad I bought it. It's readable. Let's see here. Confetti like crazy, but who didn't expect that? That letter P. It's a lot of that letter P in the background. 310. Still going to have a lot of black, but these light colors are really going to pop on this canvas. Her face, her features tend to uh, seem to be re really readable. 
there's a lot of black here, shadow, but I see color coming through for her neck, so this would be her neck in shadow. Oh yeah. If you look at that image, the neck on the left hand side is in shadow, so that's what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm ready to go on this one. 29 colors. This is a square. This is a square. And as long as I don't have too much gapping, if I do, I'm going to have to go with the mica. Mica finishing on this one. For sure. But I'm hoping that if this is decent quality, I won't have a lot of gapping with those squares. And this will really, really give me the detail that this type of painting really deserves. So I'm very happy with this. Yeah, about a quarter of an inch overlap on the glue. Nice stick. I'm not so sure if this, if this is going to be uh, poured glue or double-sided tape. It appears to be smearing, so that would be poured glue. But, yeah, I'm very happy. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. Let me just give you one more look sideways so you can kind of see the whole picture. Okay, and again, one more time on the palette. Okay, okay, I'm going to pause the video, get the next one out. Okay, this is canvas number five. And I'm looking at the thumbnail, and I'm anticipating disappointment. And let me tell you why. I've been kind of gravitating towards the Chunky Mama canvases, since I like my Chunky Mama canvas that I did. I've been getting the um, those other paintings that vibe Chunky Mamas. And I haven't been overly impressed. And this is another one of those. And I'm not overly impressed. I'm not saying it's not going to come out. But I... I don't even know... I'm not sure... I'm not overly impressed. Let me see the picture. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This one, I can't tell by the thumbnail, but this one did come with an inventory sheet. And I think it's worth looking at this one. This one's a little bit different. So maybe this will turn my frown upside down. Yeah, we don't need to keep that. That's just... Yeah, that's coming out. Now you can see what it is. In the printed picture. She has her little um, plate on her knee. She's got her hair and a ponytail on the side there. She's got a pillow behind her back. I like the image. I like the image. I just don't... Wow, look at the size of the printing on this legend. Look at that. 28 colors. It's alphanumeric in no particular order. Yeah, alphanumeric in no particular order. And let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, baby bags. Unfortunately, baby bags here. So no one's ever crazy about the baby bags, but here we are. I do like the color choices. I do like the color choices in here. Trying to show you a little bit of the palette. It's not easy to show. Maybe I'll go ahead and put this back in and turn it upside down. Okay, now that I can see what the image is, because the canvas itself is not super readable. That is. That's super readable. Because at first, I thought this was her belly. But now I see it's just her knee, and she has her plate on her knee. 
Just like there's a pillow there, a decorative pillow there, curtains here. Her ponytail comes around here. The flooring, she's sitting on like a hasset. Maybe that's a book right, right back there. So I like the image. And now that I see it, in its printed form. Maybe now I can translate what I saw on the uh, printed image to the canvas. If the canvas, let's keep it real, it's not all that great. Okay, I was anticipating disappointment because of the quality of the other one. But this one isn't that bad. Now that I have that inventory sheet, I can see everything. And now I can make out. Now the rendering, the rendering on this could have been a lot better. This feels, this is double-sided tape. I'm telling you now. It has that very thick plastic on it. This is double-sided tape. This is not port glue. I'm already down with that. 28 colors. This is a round. Okay. So the stick is going to be excellent. It's very readable as far as the printing. And the letters are nice and big. Light letters on dark backgrounds. I'm seeing that. So this is going to be doable. I'm just hoping I like it. As much as I do the uh, picture. It's just, it's just kind of blurry. But total keeper for me. 30 by 40. 28 colors. With the inventory sheet. Thankfully with a printed image of the canvas. So now I can read it better. Baby bags. Ugh. Yuck. But anyway, that was number five, and we're going to move on to number six. Okay, this is canvas number six. I can already see 23 colors. I'm trying to look at the thumbnail. Yeah, it's not helping me. Oh, uh, let's see here. Is it here? Oh, is this a train? Yes. Okay. This is a train. 23 colors. 40 by 40. Oh, likey, likey. Not so much. Oh, I like this. I like the size. I like the color palette. Oh, this is really pretty. 23 colors. It's uh, alpha. No particular order. Let's go ahead and get this flattened out. I like the detail on the train. Is this a square or a round? This is a round. That's going to be port glue. Oh, come on. That is port glue. Yes, I love the floral. I love the juxtaposition of that iron horse, that locomotive, with the softness of the florals that surround it. The dark versus light, the hard metal up against the soft flowers here, the light sky. This is just a really pretty picture. And this is port glue. Oh. Yes, this is pork glue. This has great stick and it has about a half an inch of overhang on the glue. At least a half an inch. That's a lot of overhang. I mean, totally I can deal with it, but I got my train game for my train, so I'm happy with that. I'll take a look at the colors here. Oh, that's a strong purple. Light purple, peaches, grays. Hmm. 
some pretty greens. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. If you like trains, what do you think about this? Is this too girly a train? It's hard to find good trains. I have another one. I haven't done it yet, but I do have another one in my uh, organizer book. That is a 30 by 40. And this is a 40 by 40, so this is my second one. But I saw this, and I just kind of had to have it. Yeah, really like it. Really happy with it. Let me know your thoughts. Yeah, I think this is going to come out well. Oh, let's see how well it's printed. Yeah, it's printed well. It's readable. W's got to be 310, right? Yeah, W is 310. A lot of bright colors. And that bright up here next to this, all these bright colors up in here. I really like that. Could get creative with some flocking down in here as opposed to just drills because that's a lot of uh, black. Get in all of the um, confetti colors first and then flock in black 310 around it. I could do that. It would be appropriate for this kind of painting too. So that might happen. I have to give that some thought. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one back up and pull out number seven. Okay, this is number seven, and it is the last one for this video. Oh, I think it's a lion. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's get this one out here. This is 24 colors, 30 by 40, and this is kind of a rainbow lion. I just re I saw this and had to have it. 30 by 40, it's all alpha, no particular order. And let me get that picture, that thumbnail, up close. I love the features of this, and I love the rainbow colors in it without losing the majesty of that face to me you all uh, some of you may like something that's a little bit more natural but me I like the artistic styling of this lion I love the size 30 by 40 I get all the lion vibes out of this let's see we said 24 colors And let's see, I is 3865, and what is J? J is 963. There's a lot of I's and J's in the background, but the background isn't so heavy that I wouldn't drill it out. I would drill this background out, no problem. I got my train game and my heat sealed bags. Those are the colors. lavender peaches you see some strong reds and pinks in there oh I hit the tripod again that this is the day for hitting tripods for sure the colors in here really nice colors I, I'm really happy with this this is really, really nice. Let's see how readable. I's and J's. Oh, this is going to be hard to read right here. Let me put it up there as close as I can get it. This is going to be U, E, H. Yeah, light pad for sure. O, maybe a D. I think that's an O, N, E. With all of this sketchy. Oops, see? Oh. Yeah, that D. That D right there is very hard to read. Why do they put D's and those in the same painting? Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit harder to read. But 
I like it so much. It's it's going to be worth it. It's not that big. So even though it might be painful to do for the short term, it is the short term and I'm willing to do it. So yeah, how's the stick on this? Oh, the stick is really, 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 really good, which makes me think it's so good. In fact, I'm thinking this is double sided tape. That feels, yeah. That's rolling up. That's double sided tape, people. That is double sided tape. Poor glue can be great, but it's rarely as, as good as double sided tape. So there you go on that. Okay, that's a keeper for me for my Wild Kingdom portfolio. That's where he's going. And let me know what you guys think. So this is the end of um, the unbox card number three. I don't have, know how many more there will be, four, five, six, I don't know. But we're going to get through my Timu hauls on this series. So let me know what you think. And as you guys venture forth in your everyday lives, sharing your shine with others, allow their shine to be reflective back on you, practicing tolerance and respect all along the way. Hopefully you'll continue to join me on my unboxing boxcar series to get through all the Timu hauls. And until then... Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.